Um, I've worked in child abuse and child maltreatment for 35 years and I've seen children who have been victims of child pornography production and I know what it does to them. But what's more challenging is that the majority of people who abuse children with child pornography images are their own family members and very often adult pornography has played an important role in that transition. The other reason that I came is because I know about youth and youth who are developing sexual problems because of their exposure to adult pornography is a very severe issue in our country and that's one of the reasons that I came because I wanted to address that. And a second and last question, there was some talk, uh, I remember you mentioned the politics yes. of, psych of the psychiatric establishment. Yes. Do you believe the psychiatric establishment right now is doing enough to deal with this issue? No. And if not, why? No. I would absolutely say that psychiatry and even psychology is um, at the very <laughs> bottom of trying to begin to understand this whole concept. Uh, when I'm on a working committee that's talking about how do we treat children who have been exploited by child pornography victimization. And I will tell you that research from other countries reports that more than 80 percent of clinicians feel unprepared on how to even help children, children who have been pornographically photographed. Uh, in part because the children don't speak of it, because it's very stigmatizing and shaming, and in part because um, clinicians have no knowledge of what we're talking about. They think the children are standing in front of a camera um, in a long dress, uh, as if they're modeling, when in fact they don't recognize the children are being sexually assaulted.